Zach Wheeler. Uh, you know a little bit something about Zach Wheeler. He already was a wealthy man. Now he is a wealthier man. Yeah, he wasn't starting a GoFundMe. He didn't have to do that before today. But now he is even further away from GoFundMe territory. That is because the Phillies have extended him three years, $126 million. That will kick in after this season. So Wheeler was set to be a free agent at the end of 2024. In spring training, we had the requisite two weeks of they got to get this done. And then people around the team being like, they're going to get this done. And they got it done. He will be with the Phillies through 2027. What he has become with the Phillies is quite simply one of the best pitchers in baseball. I think, you know, we've we've had some, and we probably will continue to have some discussions about this coming into the season, which is basically who is the second best pitcher in baseball. I think we agree. We are on the same page that Garrett Cole would be our first pick. But besides that, like, it is an interesting discussion. I think Zach Wheeler has a case there. You've seen a lot of the Phillies over the last few years. What is so impressive about him, the pitcher? I think... It's the intention and the fastball command are the two things that separate him. Pitcher wins above replacement is a little wonky, but if you go to Fangraphs and you do pitcher war since the beginning of his contract, which is the start of the 2020 season, number one in baseball in value for pitchers. He is, if not the second best pitcher in the world behind Garrett Cole, you could argue he's the best pitcher in the world. That's sure. something I'm sure people inside the Phillies Clubhouse genuinely believe the dude's going to be making $42 million over the next three seasons after this one, right? So this is an extension. So when you consider that, the fact that we're talking about his age 35, 36, and 37 seasons, that's a pretty serious commitment for a guy who has generally been healthy over his Phillies tenure, wasn't as much so before that, um, but he is he deserves it. And again, when you when you consider the risk associated with with, you know, giving any pitcher a lot of money, I totally understand this match. This is lost in history because the Diamondbacks won. But Wheeler did the come out of the bullpen in game seven thing last year Mm -hmm. at home against Arizona in the two very embarrassing losses the Phillies (laughs) had to the Diamondbacks. He came out of the bullpen in game seven in the seventh inning and got four outs and allowed just one base runner and didn't allow a run. And in the event that, like, the Phillies come back and win, we remember Zach Wheeler, badass, coming in out of the bullpen as a starter on, like, three days rest. And when – because they lost, we forget that. But he is in that territory, for me, of just absolute dominant hurlers we have in the sport. 